Welcome to the new segment of Lockdown with Johnny Potenza. How's everybody doing? Me, I'm doing the same thing I did last time I talked to you on, uh, on Zoom. Just laying low, staying safe, and uh, doing my thing. Talking to my friends in the entertainment business and uh, just seeing what everybody's up to in these crazy times of the coronavirus. Hope everybody's staying safe. But if you want a good meal, I'm going to plug my good friend Paulie from Nucci's Italian Restaurant and Pizzeria on Staten Island. Paul is giving back to the community uh, with two-for-one dinner specials seven days a week. And Nucci's is located on Staten Island at 4842 Arthur Kill Road, 718-967-3600. Call or tell him Johnny Potenza sent you. Well, my special guest today, he's a good friend of mine. And he's been on my previous shows before. He's an American freestyle and salsa singer. He's known by his fans and everybody in the industry as the king of freestyle. That's the one, of, one and only George Lamond. And I'm going to show a fast clip of one of his up-and-coming shows. And we're going to bring him in, get him out of the bathroom, and uh, talk to George and see, see how he's doing. So check this out. Freestyle Freaks. Once again, you are not ready. The I Love Freestyle Music Tour is about to do something never done before. We are going virtual. Saturday, May 16th, 2020. Performing live. It's George Lamont. Join us for a one of a kind, up close and personal experience with a one and only George Lamont, like you've never seen before. George Lamont, unplugged. Live, hosted by the legendary Tim Spinning Shomer. It's going down in your living room. Show starts at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Saturday, May 16th, 2020. For tickets, go to I Love Freestyle Music Tour. Live. There he is, the one and only George Lamont. What's up, pal? What's up, Johnny P? How you doing, baby? What's up with that hat? <laughs> I was going to say, what's up with that med hat? <laughs> I mean, I haven't got a haircut in two months. So, I mean, I'm going to be wearing this anyway. At the end of the day, we, we vote for New York. Exactly, exactly. I can't wait for the ballparks to open up again, man. Oh, if my father was alive, he'd be going crazy right now. Oh, man. Big Yankee yeah, yeah. fan. Yeah, my dad was uh, – so real quick story. I was uh, back in the Bronx. I lived uh, six blocks from Yankee Stadium. Oh, wow. And I was the only Met fan. My dad used to come home from the factory. Um, he was tired, and he used to be kind of cranky. So one day I started watching – I had it on a Yankee game, but it was because I was waiting for like a cartoon or something. I would have to finish something. And uh, he came home pissed, and he saw me watching the Yankee game, and he's like, what the heck are you doing? Slap me in the back of my head. <laughs> Never again did I turn on the Yankee channel ever again. That's hilarious. <laughs> it was uh, ever since then I've been literally a Met fan. Well, that's cool, man. You know, it's all good. So now what's going I mean, this whole <laughs> coronavirus has everybody uh, upside down. What's it behind the scenes in the life of George Lamont these days? Uh, home. Yeah, um, so, you know, out here in Staten Island is pretty uh, opened up, even though everyone's still going crazy out here. Uh, but, yeah. you know, everyone's following the guidelines, and I've been following the guidelines for a while um, since before this thing happened because uh, on vacation I was going to go with my kids. But we've been doing good, and um, uh, I make sure my boys are, are, are home. Um, yeah. uh, they're not working anymore, so uh, they're in furlough, but they're getting paid, and they're home, and we stay within each other. We cook a lot. <laughs> we experiment. Yeah. Bro, I was losing weight and I put on, you know, I'm, I'm fat pee right now. It's, it's good that you see <laughs> only half of this, you know? Exactly, over here too. I actually, I'm um, not that bad. So I was doing keto prior to this oh. and I lost about 15 pounds. So I only gained like four back, which is not bad. So I'm taking well, that's it. That's great. I got to try that. I got to try that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not for everyone, but you know, you know your body. So, but yeah, we've been keeping safe and um uh i took all the precautions i went ahead before this thing before the distance thing i was already doing it and i ordered tons of masks and i got the, the disinfected from the hospital i got gallons of that so whenever anyone which really doesn't come over my house but if someone comes over yeah um like i had we're doing this concert that um that i talked to you about this virtual concert and the musician came over just to see if we were going to record it here with my studio uh -huh. And it, he has a bigger studio, and it's right down a couple of blocks. So I sprayed them all down with that thing. So um, we're good. We're, we're we're taking really really safety precautions. Well, listen. Before we get into that up and coming concert, tell me fast a little. Uh, 
how was that cruise that you guys did with the, the freestyle cruise back in February before it all happened? It was amazing. Cynthia sold out. It was uh, for the Erica Roman Foundation. I think yes. we raised like around ten thousand uh, dollars for right. um, someone's calling me on my iWatch. Let me hang up. And um, and um, you know we 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 had a great time. Um, even there, I was kind of like being paranoid with the Corona thing because a lot of people on that ship got, got sick and thank yeah. God it was, it, I wasn't one of them, but, um, um, it was amazing. TKA, Cynthia, uh, uh Brenda K star, Judy wow. Torres, Lizette Melendez, nice. Sammy Zone. I mean, we had an amazing time. TKA, you know, yeah, and that must uh, have been awesome. What you just play in the theater out in, in there. So the way it worked was, uh, Cynthia had, a day set for everything. I mean, we even did karaoke on the damn ship. I mean, we had an amazing time. We had a throwback 70s party. We had an all white party, then a red and black party. We had, it was just every night she had a theme and uh, it went really, really well. Uh, it was a little tough for me because, you know, I was trying to keep my social distance before social distance was out and everybody yeah. was just on top of me. It was kind of hard, but I did my best. You know, I, I, I took my precautions and uh, it was a lot of fun. They're actually doing another one. I'm doing another one as well in 2021. Okay. So uh, uh, there's two of them going on right now. So I'm I got to make one of these. Everybody's been telling me, Suave, you, uh, everybody, I would love, I want to, yeah, definitely come and just hang out. With you you got to come down. You know what? Because the great thing about it is we get to meet the fans. We get to, you know, I get to put a face to a name. I, all these people like, oh, I follow you. I follow you. And God, yeah. I got so many followers. So I'm like, yeah, you know, I know some of them. I don't know all of them. Yeah. But they come from all over Texas, you know, California. They come yeah. from Canada, you know, Brazil. And, and they hang out and we get to meet with them and talk with them. And it's awesome. You know, we the take cruises is a big thing. And you know, my band is Kiss. And they, they're going on their 10th cruise but people come from Japan and Sweden and Australia and it's already so it's, it's sold out be, before the tickets are even on sale. You got to be on standby. What do they, what do they, uh, where do, when they do that concert, where do they, where do they uh, dock out of? They dock out of uh, Miami, Miami and they go, it's like, I think it's four, four days, or five nights or one or the other. And it's a, it's a crazy, crazy event. It's also a lot of money. And then all the bells and whistles. I mean, you're spending a lot of cash. A real, like, I'm a diehard, but it took me a long time. I had to go with a bunch of my friends because there's too many crazy diehards. I want to throw them over the boat. You know? yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got, I mean, look, <laughs> you got You got to do it. You got to do it. You know, I. Uh, they also have salsa. They, I mean, they have tons of them. So, but you got to do it. I, I know that uh, Mr. Simmons, he's, he knows exactly what he's doing with that, with that group. You know um, Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, but yeah, uh, that's kind of cool. Um, th we're also doing a, a, a salsa cruise because, you know, I do Latin as well. Yes. So um, um, that's kind of cool. Um, and then, um, yeah, that's pretty much about, it. Just... Talk about May 16th. You have an Unplugged concert coming up. Right. It's called uh, uh, Unplugged uh, with George Lamont, a virtual concert that we're yes. privately streaming. And it's going to, it's, uh, the, the promotion starts today, if I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. uh, at uh, WWI Love freestyle music tour okay. and uh i'll post it on my george lamont page and i also post it on my instagram the real george lamont and twitter george lamont so how about this i just rolled in that commercial for you before i i i signed you on oh yeah yeah <laughs> good 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 thinking <laughs> so uh, uh yeah, yeah and it's gonna be me for 45 minutes uh we're gonna have a dj uh, by the name of tim spinning Shomer. he's out of chicago well-known dj he's gonna be opening the set and then uh me and my friend carlos who's a great friend of mine a great keyboard player he's in a band um we're gonna be breaking down songs man just my interpretation of of renditions of songs that people know that i would arrange if i didn't have you know, no electronic drum patterns or yeah. bass line. So, and I'll, you know, straight up piano and it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to sound awesome. I'm also going to do some covers as well. Yeah, I dig it, man. That sounds good. Yeah, and, and it actually... How does it do... work, George? I'm sorry to interrupt you. They uh, they sell tickets on How does it all work? Like, So what's going to happen wait. is, um, yeah, I think they they have like about 2,000. They bought 2,000 uh, broadbands on things like that. And, they, and what they do is, it's almost like Zoom, okay. um, but it's through another... Uh, uh, software, uh, yeah. I think it's called web, web, uh, net web or something like that. Anyway, it, web, the information you can watch it on your TV too. Exactly. Yeah. Your phone, your TV, you can watch it on your laptop and yeah. you buy a ticket for 10 bucks. And then, uh, I get to interact with you guys and it's not, and it's, uh, it's a one-time thing, so it's not recorded. So once it's over, it's over. Got you. And uh, I'm also doing one on the 30th with the same uh, uh, company. And uh, that's going to be different as well because I'm going to do different stuff over there. So, um, uh, yeah. So And that's the way it works. And you get yourself a, 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 a code, 
a secret code and without that secret code you can't log on so uh, and that's the way it works i dig it man a lot of people are doing that now and listen this is uh, unfortunately we don't know how long yeah. we're gonna be stuck in the house right now yeah, yeah i didn't yeah. even want to do this in the beginning i had the younger generation guys Johnny P, you got to do this. Johnny P, you got to yeah. do this. You got to do this. So I did it because I didn't want to hear. I didn't want to hear the younger cats busting my chops. So and it was it was the best thing they did for me to get me back just to practice and to talk to all my friends and everyone that's been on my show and going to be as yourself and help just promote everybody. Just have fun. Yeah, I know. I know. It's a it's a little it's a little odd when you don't have. A, a crowd reaction, audience, crowd yeah. reaction, audience, you know. So I get it, but I've been doing interviews. You've been doing interviews for years. You, it's you know. easy because you're you're a musician. When when I bring the comics on, they get they get all frozen. And yeah. I bust their chops too. I go, yeah. I go, we're doing it again. I go, come on, I know what you could do, deliver. Yeah, yeah. You know, and then they wake up and they go, I don't know, I can't talk to the computer without an audience. We just did a uh, for the first. Uh, we did a live stream, the, the one that we did at the World Resort Casinos, uh -huh. and uh, that thing went crazy. I heard they got over a hundred thousand. They, they probably passed now. We also did one in Long Island with Brian Rosenberg, and that thing blew up. I think like twenty nine thousand Long Island people watching. Oh, wow. People, people, you know, they they hang out Friday. They're yeah. home. They they put on their nice big screens. They put on their speakers, and they they get creative, man. They put disco balls. They start drinking, and they have a great time. Time and and uh, it's actually alive and and uh, we had a great time with it, man. So you get used to it after a while. And right now I'm set up to do all of that. You know this concert that I'm doing, we're set up. It sounds great. I mean you're gonna hear effects, reverb, a little bit of delay. I'm definitely gonna tune in, man. I'm it's gonna be guys. fun. Now, but with the time we got left, talk about the new singles that you've been recording, the new stuff that you got on iTunes and and all the platforms for the music. Yeah, so, I know what's yeah, because, because, yeah, we had spoke about it earlier before, and you had told me if I'm doing albums or singles. Yeah. Singles are easy, albums are good to do when you have a project. And, and actually, yeah. I just came up with a great idea. I was, I'm a huge doo wop fanatic. Yeah, so, uh, uh, I didn't mention that to you, but I've always wanted to do a, a, an album of just classic doo wop covers with just me doing all the voices, you know, and just take it back to the 50s, you know, with some real like mid 50s and, you know, early uh, 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 and uh, early 60s kind of doo-wop songs. So uh, 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 I, I just came up with that idea today and I'm like, I can do that. I know exactly I can get down with that. But the new single is called Week. Okay. And it's with two friends of mine. Um, we were, we were going to do a group a couple of years back, I think like 2018 with uh, uh, with a friend of mine, CNC, from CNC Music Factory, one of the producers, Robert Clillis. Okay. And, uh, I hired a, uh, uh, two guys that were just friends of mine and amazing talent, Jimmy Salvamini, who wrote the song, who was on Star Search with Ed McMahon years ago. And the kid is a great writer, great singer. And, uh -huh. and Chris Alfinas, uh, he's on the song as well. And he's an amazing vocalist and he sang Spanish. The guy sounds just like Mark Anthony. Oh, cool. So it's called Weak. And uh, we were supposed to record the video, but then this happened. So, you know, that's going to have to put that one off. Or maybe yeah, we'll be looking forward to that. Yeah. So any... on, on our iTunes, CD, baby, Amazon, I gather, right? Spotify. Yeah, yeah. YouTube. Uh, I just posted it on YouTube uh, a couple of minutes ago, so okay. people could check it out on there. And uh, you know, it's ninety nine cents on you. On yeah, iTunes, listen. You know, ninety nine cents. You can't even get nothing for ninety nine cents no more. You can't <laughs> even get a wacky packies for, for ninety nine cents. <laughs> exactly. But exactly. now, George, that's your time, my brother. Where can people find you? All your links, social media. The best place to find me is on Instagram. I'm an Instagram fanatic. So the real George Lamont on Instagram, Twitter, it's just George Lamont and George Lamont uh, Facebook. And okay. that's pretty much it. Man. That's where you can find me. Sounds good, bro. Listen, uh, all the best to you and your family. Stay healthy. Good luck with everything. May 16th, yeah, George Lamont. Make sure you guys check in. George, I'll be seeing you, pal. Johnny, man, always a pleasure speaking to you, man. And if you want a mad hat, you know, I can deliver one to you. You got it, my brother. I, I'll talk to you really soon. All right, later. God bless. There you have it. George Lamond, May 16th. Check it out. Well, it's about that time. We've got to say our goodbyes and uh, just stay safe. Do what you got to do. Take care. Comb your hair and all that jazz. <laughs>